welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates, and if you've been listening to the show since Genesis chapter 1, then I would like to offer my congratulations and give you some good news. Today we have reached chapter 30, which means we only have two-fifths of Genesis until we start exploring Exodus and hear the story of Moses. Some of you may be wondering who the cat is that has suddenly started to appear in the start appearance of the show. Well, that is my cat, Odie, and our official mascot. He was caught looking at the Bible as I left it open to check on some details of this show. And well, the picture just had to be taken. Anyway, be sure to check out our website at dailyvisualbible.co.uk, which has now become very active with our YouTube and Facebook links. Please be sure to subscribe. It's so easy to do, and I promise if I get 100 subscribers by the start of September, then I will produce a funny video that only my subscribers will get to see. If you wish to discuss anything in the show, or learn what many of the strange words I use in the reading mean, then please feel free to comment below, or if you prefer, you can contact us at dailyvisualbible at gmail.com. Now let's do the right thing, and I'm God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 30 And Rachel saw that she bore Jacob no children. Rachel envied her sister. She said to Jacob, Give me children or else I will die. Jacob's anger burned against Rachel and he said, Am I in God's place? Who has withheld from you the fruit of the womb? She said, Behold my maiden Benhar. Go into her that she may bear on my knees, and I also may obtain children by her. She gave him Bilna, a servant as wife, and Jacob went into her. Well, her conceived, and bore Jacob a son. Rachel said, God has judged me, and has also heard my voice, and has given me a son. Therefore she called his name Dan. Bilhar, Rachel's servant, conceived again, and bore Jacob a second son. Rachel said, With mighty wrestling, have I fought with my sister, and have prevailed. She named him Naphtali. When Leah saw that she had finished bearing, she took Zilpah, a servant, and gave her to Jacob as a wife. Zilpah, Leah's servant, bore Jacob a son. Leah said, How fortunate! She named him Gad. Zilpah, Leah's servant, bore Jacob a second son. Leah said, How happy am I! For the daughters will call me happy. She named him Asha. Reuben went in the days of wheat harvest and found mandrakes in the field, and brought them to his mother Leah. And Rachel said to Leah, Please give me some of your son's mandrakes. Leah said to her, Isn't it enough that you have taken away my husband? Do you take away my son's mandrakes also? Rachel said, Therefore he will lie with you tonight for your son's mandrakes. Jacob came from the field in the evening, and Leah went out to meet him and said, you must come in to me, for I have surely hired you with my son's mandrakes. He lay with her that night. God listened to Leah, and she conceived, and bore Jacob a fifth son. Leah said, God has given me my hire, because I gave my servant to my husband. She named him as a car. Leah conceived again, and bore a sixth son to Jacob. Leah said, God has endowed me with good dowry, and my husband will live with me, because I have borne him six sons. She named him Zebulun. Afterwards she bore a daughter, named her Dina. God went over to Rachel, and God listened to her, and opened her womb. She conceived, bore son, and said, God has taken away my reproach. She named him Joseph, saying, Yahweh adds another son to me. When Rachel had born Joseph, Jacob said to the man, Send me away, that I may go to my own place, and to my country. Give me my wives, and my children, for whom I have served you, and let me go. For you know my service with which I have served you. The man said to him, If now I have found favour in your eyes, stay here, for I have divined that Yahweh has blessed me for your sake. The man said, Appoint me your wages, and I will give it. Jacob said to him, You know how I have served you, and all your livestock have fed with me. 
was little which you had before I came. And that has increased to a multitude. Yahweh has blessed you wherever I turn. Now when will I provide for my own house also? The man said, What shall I give you? He said, You shall not give me anything. If you will do this thing for me, I will again feed your flock and keep it. I will pass through all your flock today, removing from there any speckled and spotted one, and every black one among the sheep, and the spotted and speckled among the goats. This will be my hire. So my righteousness will answer for me hereafter. When you come concerning my hire that is before you, everyone that is not speckled and spotted among the goats, and black among the sheep, that might be with me, will be considered stolen. The band said, Behold, let be according to your word. That day, Jacob removed the male goats that were streaked and spotted, and all the female goats that were speckled and spotted, every one that had white in it, and all the black ones among the sheep, and gave them into the hands of his sons. He set three days' journey between himself and Jacob, and Jacob fed the rest of Laban's flocks. Jacob took to himself rods of fresh poplar, almond, plane tree, peeled white streaks in them, and made the white appear which was in the rods. He set the rods which he had peeled opposite the flocks and gutters in the watering troughs, where the flocks came to drink. They conceived when they came to drink. The flocks conceived before the rods, and the flocks produced streaked, speckled, and spotted. Jacob separated the lambs, and set the faces of the flocks towards the street, and all the black of the flock of Laban, and he put his own droves apart, and didn't put them into Laban's flock. Wherever the strongest of the flock conceived, Jacob laid the rods in front of the eyes of the flock in the gutters, that they might conceive among the rods. But when the flock were feeble, he didn't put them in. So the feeble were Laban's, and the stronger Jacob's. Laban increased exceedingly, and had large flocks, female servants and male servants, and camels and donkeys.